guardian of law and order, looks out over the old walled city of Jerusalem as once again the irresistible force of Zionism meets the immovable object of Arab nationalism among the blood-stained hills of the Holy Land. Armoured cars with reinforced screens patrol the road from Jerusalem to Bethlehem. These pictures from Pathé's own cameraman in the east show the height of the danger in Jerusalem when arson, murder and wanton destruction were making the Holy Land a land of terror. For weeks past, armed bands have been filtering into the city, some secretly through underground passages, others in disguise through the old city gates. By increasingly violent terrorism, they had brought the life of the city almost to a standstill. Then, as more Palestine police arrive, Britain shows that she is master of the situation, cleans up the city, restores order. Once again, the people can walk abroad in safety. In the narrow streets of the Arab city, the bazaars reopen. Peace reigns again. Yet so careful has Britain's army been to avoid unnecessary violence, that in two days of continuous skirmishing, only nine people were killed. And once again, Jews can come to the historic Wailing Wall to pray. But behind the outward peace lies still the threat of rebellion and disorder. Britain still stands by. <laughs> 